Okay, so with all the different Minecraft updates, the way we have Forge set up right now is fantastic because you don't have to go through much in order, well, as much in order to, say, update the mod for a different version. And well, since Minecraft 1.6.2 came out, I figured I might as well go through on how to do that. So if you hit files again, again, you're going to need to get the latest, but Okay, no, the latest, and it is for Minecraft 1.62. Make sure that it is, otherwise this entire thing is going to be pointless. And then, of course, get the SRC. Not the installer, as you saw that was clicked earlier. The installer was because of, well, a video you guys should be seeing after this, after I break it up into several 30-minute parts and speed-up sections and make you guys watch this boring video, uh of me and a, one of my friends uh, and my brother playing wow there's a lot of us there uh, and there's another one anyway skip ad and then download it as usual but the way how if you put everything in the source folder the problem with doing that is whenever you need to update to a different minecraft version you have to like copy and move all your code and then put it back in there afterwards Anyways, this is done now, so I'm just going to open it, and I am going to open up a new one, and, oh, what the heck, YouTube, <laughs> then I will go to my Java projects folder if I can remember where I put it. Which it's not here, and, uh, desktop up uh, system folder java projects minecraft and then all I have to do is just delete forge and once forge is deleted then you just need to do what you did beforehand move forge over and then just run Eclipse if I could remember where I put it uh, it would be in program obviously why would I forget that then you can go ahead and close out of these and wait for Eclipse to come up and choose your Minecraft project Eclipse folder Close out of Eclipse. Open back the Forge folder. And rerun the install script. And so I'll probably either A speed this up or skip through it. And now that that's done, pressing any key. Now, open up Eclipse. I'll be back and now that we're in here I'm right clicking on this properties Java build path and then remove the 1.6.1 jar and add the 1.6.2 jar and hit OK and figure out the other issue. Oh. Now hit refresh. Details. Run background. Fantastic. Alright. So now it's going to be running in the background. And this will be pretty much the, as soon as this error goes away, uh, the end of the tutorial and, okay, yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> this is the end of the tutorial. If it helped you at all, please give it a like. If it didn't, uh, well, then I guess give it a dislike. If you want to see more by me, uh, subscribe. And I guess this isn't correct either. Refract or rename. Two. <laughs> And then, when configuration, just make sure it changed it. Modded C, class path, and remove, and add projects, U, fail, and remove this, close U. Oh, sorry, apply. Close you. And so that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, if it helped it at all, give it a like. If it didn't, uh, then give it a dislike. If you want to see more, more, my, more by me, subscribe. I uh, think you have a good day or night or whatever time it is. I guess it really just depends on when you decided to watch this video. Either way, make sure you do go out there and have fun. Thank you and goodbye.